Hello, and welcome to another edition of my aquaponic garden. I wanted to show you my outdoor units that I'm building. So basically, I have six beds uh, made of three 275-gallon IBC totes and a pond that has been dug out to be around 600, 700 gallons uh, although right now it looks like it's a lot less because uh, I haven't filled it to the top yet. So let me take you on a short little tour. It's not done yet. It's just uh, just being proof tested right now. Proof of concept. Alright, so this is uh, the farthest bed that's functioning. I have um, a 600 gallon per hour um, water pump, Beckett water pump. Um, I'm expecting a 3,500 gallon uh, within the next few days to take care of all six plus to have some water go back into the pond to create some circulation and aeration and things like that. So as you can see here we have a good flow. I might uh, pipe it out a little bit more in these beds to make it so I uh, spread the water more evenly. And of course here's the bell siphon. Uh, simply a pipe within a pipe. I use the drain pipe with lots of holes I, I cut into it. I could have got drain pipe that already had slits in it, but, well, you know, hindsight, right? So, these beds are not 100% uh, uh, level yet. I have to get a leveler and, and uh, jack. They're holding right now, each one holds about 160 gallons of uh, pea gravel. And uh, that was a pain to get into the, uh, each of the beds. I had to get a wheelbarrow and some friends. They're sitting on cinder blocks. Uh, the farthest ones away from the pond are sitting on two levels of cinder blocks and a lot of gravel. Here's the next bed. I have this piped in, in line. And here's the closest bed to the pond. As far as the drainage is concerned, I got a 100 foot um, four inch drain pipe and non uh, the one without the holes in it obviously and um, I had that wrapping around the entire unit um, at the right here I have it um, actually tied to the top of the unit so that water wouldn't go up I wanted to actually have a downward flow a downward slope I partially buried it here as you can see we've got the we got the bottom part of the bell siphon um, cut into it. I'm trying to make it as close to the good seal as possible. Although the good news is that it doesn't uh, utilize all four inches of it, even when all three are uh, draining at the same time. Let me just show you what it looks like. It's a good flow. And I'm hoping uh, this pond will be cycled within a few more days, I'll be able to get my fish in it, put my fish from inside out here. So here's the bell siphon for this guy, at least the bottom part of it. And here's the edge of this guy. I'm going to set up the other three beds identically. They need to have bell siphons uh, created for them. And uh, they need to be leveled off. And other than that, they're, they'll be ready to go. I'm going to put a greenhouse around this guy once I'm done. It should be a rather large greenhouse. And I'll also make it so that this is not so much in the way the, the, the water uh, pipe I'll have it so that it's running along the floor. Hopefully, it shouldn't cause any issue. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll keep you updated as, uh, as things progress.